The Howa barreled actions currently sold by Brownells are a great starting point for a custom rifle. They come with a barrel installed and the metal finishing complete, which means that all the hard work's been done. By adding a stock and mounting an optic, you can have an accurate and reliable rifle up and running in a very short time. Let's take a look at what it takes to put together a typical build. The first thing we want to look at is choosing a stock, and here we can go anywhere from a traditional style to a tactical aluminum chassis. Installation is very simple with these guns with two action screws going up through the bottom metal into the action and holding everything together. If the stock is a good fit or has an aluminum bedding block, that's really all you need to do. If the fit leaves something to be desired, you may want to bed the action with Acroglass gel to properly mate the metal to the stock for the best accuracy potential. Bedding the action is also a good idea if you have a hard kicking caliber like 300 or 338 Winchester Magnum. Today we have a heavy barreled 308 short action and we're going to put it in this HS3 chassis from Modular Driven Technologies. Before we mate the rifle to the chassis, we need to mount the pistol grip and buttstock. And just to make things interesting, we'll also be adding a folding stock adapter from Law Tactical. So let's get started. The Law Tactical folding stock adapter was originally designed to work with the AR platform. However, it also mates up with this chassis just fine. In fact, with no detents or springs to worry about, installing this adapter on a Howa chassis is even easier than it normally would be on an AR-15. The instructions are easy to follow and a special wrench is included to tighten it onto the chassis. Be sure it's on securely before moving on to the next step. Once the folding adapter is in place, we can screw in the A1 buffer tube for the Magpul PRS stock we're mounting. With the tube screwed in tight, we can slide the PRS into place and fasten it with the mounting screw at the rear. Then all we need to do is replace the recoil pad and move on to the pistol grip. Most AR-15 pistol grips will fit the MDT chassis and go on the same way. The only difference is that there are no detents and springs to worry about, which only makes the job easier, just like with the folding adapter. Today we're going to use this BCM gunfighter grip, and we'll just slide it into place and tighten the screw, nice and easy. The one last thing we want to add to the stock is a bipod. Now there are a couple different ways we can do that on this stock. The one way is to mount the traditional bipod to the front sling swivel stud. The other way, and the one we're going to do, is to mount a short rail section like this Magpul MOE rail and then go with a Picatinny mounted bipod. The bottom of the chassis has plenty of threaded holes to allow you to mount the rail in a variety of positions. Once we have the rail in place, the bipod can be mounted and the stock is ready to go. Now comes the easy part. To mount the barreled action, all we have to do is slip it into the chassis and tighten the front and rear action screws. If you have a torque wrench, the recommended torque value for these screws is 65 inch-pounds. If you don't, just be sure they're good and snug as you would on any bolt-action rifle. Once everything's tight, we can turn the rifle over and do a function test to make sure the action cycles correctly and that the safety is functioning as it should. If everything seems in order, we can go on to the next step. With the action in the stock, we can turn to mounting a scope. The receiver's already drilled and tapped for mounts, so we just need to decide whether we want a one-piece or a two-piece mount and what style. That is, do we want something like a Weaver-style base system, a Redfield, or a Picatinny? All mounting systems have their pros and cons, and ultimately, it's up to the user to decide what they prefer to use. On our build, we're going to go with a one-piece Picatinny rail from Evolution Gunworks, as this is going to be a tactical-style rifle. The actual mounting is pretty straightforward. After degreasing the screws and the receiver holes with a little alcohol, we can mount the rail on top and tighten down all the screws. The manufacturer of this particular mount recommends 20 inch pounds. With the rail in place, we can mount the scope. Here we have a Burris XTR2 already set up for a Picatinny rail in a spur scope mount system, and we're just going to slide it into place and tighten the clamp screws. One last thing, this Howa features 5 8 by 24 muzzle threads, so we really should add a muzzle device of some kind. This muzzle brake from Precision Armament will look great on there, but any 30 caliber device with the right threads will work. Just be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions when installing whatever kind of device you choose. With the muzzle brake in place, this rifle is ready to shoot. Now this is just one way to build up a rifle. We could have used this LSS chassis with a different stock and pistol grip to make a lighter, more streamlined package. The nice thing about the chassis system is that you can use AR-15 accessories and make it just the way you want. By the way, if tactical rifles aren't your thing, you can always build up a sporter like this 223 that we put into a Hogue overmolded stock. 
With all the caliber and other options available, these high quality barreled actions can be just as easily transformed into a conventional deer rifle or a heavy varmint gun. Along with the different stocks we offer, there are also multiple scope mounting systems and aftermarket triggers to customize your rifle as you like. We also have the Howa trigger guard assemblies that use the detachable Howa magazines if you want to build a drop magazine gun. If you'd like to see everything we have for the Howa, go on over to brownells.com and type Howa into the search box. That'll bring up everything we have, including the barreled actions. If you have any questions that aren't covered on the site, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be glad to help you out. And remember, these Howa actions, like everything else we sell at Brownells, are backed by our 100% unconditional forever satisfaction guarantee. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your build. I'm going to the range.